so moving to the introduction of the topic uh, it is actually a type of part scene which starts from leaf node of a tree and walks in upward direction till it reaches the root node so uh, bottom up parsing can be defined as an attempt to reduce the input string to the start symbol of the grammar by tracing out the rightmost derivation of w in reverse a general shift reduced parsing is lr parsing where l stands for scanning the input from left to right and r stands for constructing a rightmost derivation in reverse uh, the working of bottom up parser is uh, it will it starts from the string and proceed to the start in bottom up parser identifying the correct handle substring is always difficult it follows the rightmost derivation in reverse order so moving to the next slide which will present yes lr parser in computer science lr parsers are type of bottom up parser that analyzes deterministic context free languages in linear time there are several variants of lr parser slr parser means simple lr parser la lr parser means look ahead lr parsers canonical lr parsers minimal mal lr one parsers and glr parsers means generalized lr parsers lr parsers can be generated by parser generator from a formal grammar defining the syntax of the language to be parsed they are widely used for processing of computer languages um, an lr parser left to right rightmost derivation in reverse reads input text from left to right without backing up and produces rightmost derivation in reverse it does a bottom up parse not a top down ll parse the name lr is often followed by a numeric qualifier as in lr or something lk i avoid back tracking k look ahead input symbols before deciding how to parse either symbols lr parsers are deterministic they produce a single correct parse without guesswork and backtracking in linear time this is ideal for computer languages but lr parsers are not suited for human languages which need more flexible but in table so can parse arbitrary context example koke younger kasimi early glr have worst case performance of order of n, n square time other methods which backtrack or yield multiple parsers may even take exponentially get fairly in lr parser the two important things are uh, the two important basically functions are closer function and go to function and the most important the, the most basic thing of lr parser that is for uh, checking any string whether that belongs to lr parser or not we need to augment the grammar given so if Uh, the start symbol of the grammar is s so we will augment it with a symbol s dash so uh, as we have give, uh, we are given a grammar s gives a then a, a produces small a, a slash b then here first of all we need to augment it like s dash gives s then s gives a and then a gives a, a slash b lr zero items and lr zero item is Uh, lr0 is the item of a grammar which is a production of g with the dot at some position in the right side so uh, if we have uh, as given the slide as gives abc so we have to put a dot s gives dot abc then we need to move the dot towards right till we reach the um, end position the we till we reach till the end like s gives s dot bc then s gives ab dot c then s gives abc dot and the production of a gives epsilon generates only one item a gives dot epsilon this program the closer is the set of items constructed i by two rules first initially every item in i is added to closer second if a gives alpha dot b beta in closer and b gives gamma in a production then the item b gives dot gamma to i if it is not already there we apply this rule until no more items can be added to closer so here uh, the closer operation has been explained taking an an example where we have s dash gives s which gives the uh, production rules of the grammar given and 
uh, all uh, doing the operation operation we get the following results given go to operation go to operation something if x is a grammar symbol then moving from a to alpha dot x beta to a to alpha x dot beta signified as the parser has just processed input every variable from x uh, the parser was in the former position and x was on the input this caused the parser to go to the latter position we indicate this by writing go to a leaves alpha dot x beta uh, x is a leaves alpha x dot beta Uh, almost because go to is actually refined from item set to item set, not from items to item. This is the this is go to operation defined in it, in which uh, of example s dash gives s s gives a a gives a a dash b. So go to of s dash gives a dot s s is equal to s dash gives s dot s gives dot a a gives dot a slash dot b. Go to of s gives dot a a is equal to s gives a dot a a gives dot a slash dot b and go to of a gives a a comma a is equal to a gives a dot a and a gives dot a slash dot b. Now construction of go to graph. Go to graph construction uh, considered as the state i zero closer of argumented l r zero item. You Second is using I zero find all collection of set of L R zero items with the help of D F A convert D F A to L R zero parsing table. Uh, here is the example. Consider the grammar S gives A A A gives A A dash B and augmented grammar S dash gives S S gives A and A gives A B. In the next slide, we have this uh, drawing our go to operation go to graph. Uh, in which i zero gives i one, i two, and i three, and uh, in which i one where string is over, uh, accepted action. Now i two gives two, uh, i two gives i five, i four, and shift in l r zero item no reduction. That is we seen in i two to i three. Now i three gives uh, it's uh, simple simply convert to this. Uh, On and a gives a and to i four reduce r three. Moving to the construction of l r zero parsing table, the action function takes as argument as a state i and a terminal a or dollar and the input end marker. The value of action i a can have more one of the four four forms: shift j where j is a state, reduce a to beta, accept and error. So this is the L R zero parsing table of the given uh, above go to graph. Uh, so here we see that since no S R or R R conflict present in the parsing table, as the grammar is L R zero grammar, uh, the conflicts in L R zero grammar are two reduced productions in one state R R conflict, one reduced and one shifted production in one state that is S R conflict. We have to. We have to present a complete a complete homework of effic efficient bottom-up parser. Efficiency is gained by the means of a structure representation of the parser structure. The parser graph structure that that all that allows the efficient matching of with the reduction rules. The process grammar that e e execute execute APG APSG by means of the uh, process based Concept conception of the grammar ruled by uh, ruled and by the by the presence of killer function uh, killer function the the PG processor that implement uh, implementation of a a a non a non deterministic parser parser whose whose behavior can be the uh, can be altered by the process uh, presence grammar increasing the determination determination of Of the whole system, the machine, the machine of rule activities, uh, activation, activation that can be the realized in in a process in a process grammar is con context sensitive based, but this does not increase increase com com combination effect since pre presence involved in the activation activation receives this process in, in environments which are 
which are complete which are completed uh, only once from from the activation rule at at present we can, we cannot tell which tell, tell which degree of which degree of determination can can be got but we but we interfere that uh, the that the of 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 the presence of grammar in 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 clustration of uh, rules and 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 driving rule of uh, in driving rule the e, e reductions can be can have can have our two basis as, as aspects whose in, in it was important should be highlighted in 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 the further now question number 1 among simple lr in short slr simple lr clr and look ahead lr in short la lr which of the following pairs identify the method that is very easy to implement and method and the method that is the most powerful in that order answer is slr canonical SLR, canonical lr explanation slr parser is a type of lr parser with small parse tables and a relatively simple parse generator algorithm canonical lr parser or lr1 parser is an lr k parser for k is equal to 1 that is with a single look ahead terminal it can handle all deterministic context free languages LA LR parser or look ahead LR parser is a simplified version of a canonical LR parser. Consider the following grammar G, uh, at, where S, F, and H are the non-terminal symbols. P, D, and C are uh, C are terminal symbol. Which of the following is statements is true or correct? S S one LL one can be a parser all string all string that are generated using the grammar G sorry uh, grammar C grammar G L R one can uh, can parser all string that are generated using grammar G so so now explain uh, explain this question given grammar is ambiguous since string C can be generated in two ways an ambiguous grammar can uh, can be either LL LL nor LR since uh, every ll and uh, every lr grammar is un unambiguous so answer is either s1 nor s2 is correct so moving to the third question that is says that what is the maximum number of reduce move that can be taken by bottom up parser for a grammar with no epsilon and unit production to parse a string with n token so the answer is n minus 1 because to get the maximum number of reduce move we should make sure that in each sequence form only one terminal is reduced since there is no unit production so last two tokens will take only one move and uh, so to reduce input strings of n tokens first reduce n minus 2 tokens using n minus 2 reduce moves and then reduce last two tokens using production which has a uh, total of n minus 2 plus 1 that is n minus 1 reduce is Uh, the grammar is gives a s a or b c or c so we are given the four options now we come to find first and first of the the first of uh, a s a is a i mean the first of the given productions we have to find out first of b s is b first of c is c <clears throat> so when we draw the parsing table corresponding to this grammar so uh, we don't get Uh, we don't get any um, the parsing uh, we can say that it is an ll1 parser and as the grammar is ll1 so it will also be ll1 as ll parsers parsers are more pow powerful than ll1 parsers and all ll1 grammar are also ll1 so option c is correct that is both ll1 and ll1 lar one parser of a grammar g can have shift reduce uh, sr conflicts if and only if option four options are given uh, and this answer is uh, the answer is the lr1 parser for g has sr conflict because both la lr1 and lr1 parser uses lr1 set of item to form their parsing table 
and LA LR1 state can be finding by merging LR1 states of LR1 parser that have the same set of first component of their items. Thank you. Good presentation. Thank you. Thank you. At least uh, you all have tried in uh, CYK, you have mentioned. And uh, good, good presentation. Now,